bought our own brands and wear them with pride. Do you mentor any of these brands? Do you have an experience with really kind of being a, a guide? Because you know, I don't know if I'm a guide, but I think I, I play news to them. And I think uh, that uh, that really that really helps them, you know, as actors, you know, whether it's me or whether it's any of my colleagues. Um, uh, when we wear them, I think, and when we collaborate with them, especially if I'm like, okay, this works on me, this doesn't work on me, that's a collaboration. So I don't know about mentoring, but I know for sure when I collaborate with them, it, it, it helps. Yeah, it works, definitely. Any favorite collaboration or favorite uh, project that you have that you could share with us? Um, you know, there are two designers that I work very closely with. One is Abu Sandeep and the other one is Anamika Khanna. Um, Abu Sandeep is, um, uh, you know, was the first uh, person to dress me for uh, a red carpet for my Savaria trailer launch, uh, which I will always be grateful for. And, you know, they worked on Vida Wedding, they've dressed me multiple countless times and I've collaborated with them on multiple times where my sister styled me. Um, Anamika's actually, um, I actually did my own clothes for uh, multiple films, uh, including the first uh, project she worked with me for was Delhi 6. So it might not look like Anamika Ghanna, but she's actually designed every garment that I've worn in that film. And um, so that aesthetic, which I think of that Delhi girl from uh, Delhi Che, from Chandni Chok, was actually, which became very, very, um, became very trendy to wear that bandana and to wear the silver jewelry and to wear the short kurtas was created by Anamika and I and I think that collaboration was extremely successful. How does that feel when you do something in your films and your passion projects and it's just suddenly the nation picks it up as a trend? You know which was what was really funny actually was um, um, during in Prem Ratan Dhan Payo, um, uh, with a film that actually reached various interiors of India, which is uh, one of my films that worked very, very well. And Amika again had done all my clothes that I wore. I, I, again, I styled myself in the film, so the Western wear was all things that I picked up, but all my Indian wear was uh, designed by Amika Khanna. And I remember going to a couple of weddings and I see a lot of girls in, wearing the same clothes. Um, and I thought that was wonderful, you know? And I was like, that is the power of cinema. And I never understood it because, you know, Suraji told me, you know, there was this green sari that Madhuri Dikshit had worn in, in one of his films. And I remember he said that wo bohat chali and ye lilac sari, this yellow sari worked really well that, you know, this one had worn, this Amrita had worn. So he was like, you, these are the colors that I want and you see it will work in. And then when I was going to, you know, at, at that age, I was seeing a lot of my friends were getting married, you know, you're in your late 20s, uh, and a lot of your friends are getting married at that time. And I was I was going and I was seeing a lot of them wearing these same Anamikas. And I found that so amazing and I felt so happy and proud. <laughs> so now you're so humble and uh, even, <laughs> even really an in, uh, international icon like you just say that it's uh, like a wow moment to see. So I can't tell you, it makes me so happy. I, I cannot tell you when someone does that, it makes me really happy. Thank you. Well, uh, I think you have a flight to catch, so we will, <laughs> there's a lot more we'd love to talk about, but just on a closing note, you know, we're here today at the Fashion and Apparel Innovation Summit after all, and we have an audience full of fashion entrepreneurs or people deeply connected to the fashion industry in various aspects. So any few top tips or takeaways that you have for the audience here today when it comes to the future of the fashion industry in India? You know, I feel, like I said, uh, let's invest in our own brands. Um, let's uh, support our own Indian brands. Uh, we have a very rich heritage of textiles, embroidery, craftsmanship uh, that we should be very, very proud of. Um, and, you know, from any big brand, whether it's a French brand, an Italian brand, an English brand, an American brand, 90% of it is all made in India. So, you know, we should kind of be proud of where we come from and what we wear and I, I feel like we shouldn't be as well obsessed. So that is the one thing that I would say and that's the one thing that's actually held me in good stead with the fashion industry in India. 
Thank you so much, Sonam. It's an absolute pleasure. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What better way could we end today's uh, entire summit than with uh, international fashion icon Sonam Kapoor. Thank you so Thank much, Sonam. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Sonam, for sparing your precious time and helping us make this summit a success. I would request Mr. Gaurav Srivastava, Product Head, ET Retail, ET Government and ET BFSI to kindly come up on the stage and present a token of gratitude to Sonam Kapoor. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a huge round of applause for Sonam? Thank you once again, Sonam.